a day after the Karnataka Congress led by Chief Minister Siddharamaya alleged that the opposition was offering 50 crore rupees each to MLAs, that's Congress MLAs ready to shift sides, the BJP and JDS hit back at the government claiming that those allegations were baseless. The BJP hit out at the state government for setting up a special investigating team to probe the Justice Dakuna report which recommended prosecution of former Chief Minister and BJP leader B.S. Yadurappa for alleged irregularities in procurement of supplies during the COVID pandemic. Not just B.S. Yadurappa, but other members of his cabinet as well were accused, by, were indicted by the Justice Dakuna report. For the Muda reason and Valmiki scandal in the government, this involved in the CM. That's why they are to divert the issue. That's why uh, this uh, SIT, COVID, they brought. I think uh, uh, we will fight in the court. Well, the formation of uh, the SIT has definitely triggered another political flashpoint in Karnataka. We are talking of uh, the decision to form the SIT coming a day after the allegations that have been made by Chief Minister Siddharamaya talking about how each of uh, the MLAs in the Congress camp were offered around 50 crore rupees by uh, the BJP and how the BJP has uh, constantly been uh, involved in alleged horse trading. These are some of the statements coming from uh, the Congress camp. But in the meantime, this SIT has been formed to look into or investigate based on the findings of the interim report that has been submitted by Justice Michael de Kuna Commission. They have been looking into the COVID irregularities that were pointed out during the previous BJP's regime. And some of the key findings in the report talks about how uh, the medicine kits, the PPE kits and several others were uh, not properly procured, leading to a loss of several crores of money to the state exchequer. And while this commission or this, uh, uh, the SI would be set up once uh, the chief minister is back after campaigning in Maharashtra. The team of officers will be decided then and this will be headed by uh, an officer no less than uh, that of an IG rank. And there will also be a commission that will be set up to try and see how they could recover the money that has uh, been lost uh, by the state exchequer. And uh, also, we are talking of how this could work as a tit-for-tat uh, tactic because the BJP as well as the opposition have not really taken too kindly to this. They have been suggesting that this is a diversion tactic that has been adopted mainly because Chief Minister Sidra Mea has been uh, confronted with a lot of allegations including the Muda, the Valmiki, as well as um, the recent uh, Vakf controversy there. And all of this happens to be a diversion tactic is the statement coming from the BJP camp. We'll have to wait to see how the SIT would be investigating this because they have been tasked with looking at the criminal offences, whether there would be FIRs registered because one of the key things pointed out in the report also suggests uh, getting uh, permission for prosecution of uh, those involved, which could even mean the previous chief minister as well as the health minister then. Back to you.